I'm William Moss, a master gardener on a mission. I'm out to prove you don't need wide open spaces or big backyards to grow anything. And that among the concrete and crowded streets of our biggest cities, you'll discover amazing green spaces and the one-of-a-kind people who've planted them there. When you think about green spaces in the city, you think about parks. So welcome wow. to Urban Paradise. This is gorgeous. We are blessed to have this space. I, it's almost like there's a curtain <laughs> and then I step out onto the stage. People who know Miami consider this to be one of the most unique sites in the whole city. And we're as multicultural as the whole city. We just thought it would be very appropriate to do something really spectacular and different. Now that's a big difference and not that far from Millennium Park. Where are we now? We are at East Garfield Park. This is called Patchwork Farm. It's still early in the season and you have a full crop already. What? This is a type of mustard. This is a pak choy or something? Yeah, pak choy. How'd you know that? Uh, yeah. I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> it is. A lot of people are doing this, having a little chicken coop in their backyard, but you don't have a little chicken coop. You got a lot of chickens. <laughs> we try to be like the neighborhood farm. You can actually do this. Even in Chicago, they do perfectly fine over the winter. All you gotta do now is practice your shovel posing. There you go. Uh, you're, you're an official gardener now. People need places to congregate, come out and celebrate, and be outside. I'm standing in the most iconic playing field in the world, Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field is, uh, is iconic. Uh, and anybody who gets a chance to actually touch Wrigley Field grass, I sure hope it's a special moment. A lot of manual hours. I have a couple guys that's pretty much their job is taking care of this ivy. Nadine is the co-owner of Palentino Jamaican Restaurant, a melting pot of Haitian and Jamaican culture where I ordered a freshly caught red snapper. This is a huge urban space. Lots of people around here grow their own foods. Their farmers markets nearby. Look at that. Work of art, right? Ah, beautiful. Being able to grow food in a city and then serve it, that whole yes. food to table movement. And I just love it. <laughs> Slim, I know you cooking. Yes, sir. That was fantastic. Oh, thank Man, you. Man, you put your foot into it, as my mama used to say. You know what it is, Jamaican style. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the One Straw Community Garden. This is really neat what you've done here. This is an abandoned lot that the city didn't want anymore. Um, right. It's been abandoned 25 years. What, what a neat asset for the community. Hey y'all, I'm Dan Ferris, and I'm right here in the heart of Soho in New York City, which is probably not the first place you think of when you think of gardening. But that's why I want to bring you upstairs and show you the little mini oases that I've created. I hope this inspires you to build your own indoor garden. It's a great way to bring the outdoors in. So this big old factory is being renovated, and there are some green businesses in here now. You got basil growing, your herbs, you got some microgreens. Looks like fish tanks. But we're really happy to be providing not only fresh food for locals, but also local jobs. I, I see you got some greens over yeah, there. Yeah, sure. So this is what some of our finished product would look like. This <laughs> is an abandoned railroad track, okay. and it was land that we've reclaimed to right. plant edibles. I'm looking at rows and rows of different greens right We do a few hundred pounds a week. A few hundred pounds? Look yeah. at all of these. This is called amaranth. Well, this almost looks like a, a plush 1970s <laughs> velvet carpet or something. This is why we had to get out and show you guys all the green things that are going on throughout the nation. You would never expect this to be here from the street. Austin doesn't belong to developers, you know, it belongs to the people that are here. And by growing food on something is a really great way to kind of claim that as your own. Growing together on rooftops, industrial parks, and restaurants. Wherever they could, these urban growers have created green spaces and the city's more vibrant and beautiful because of it. 